All right, this question is from Mr. Kevin Cook inside of my real estate school community. Kevin, thank you for being a valued member of the community, my friend. You had made a post about JV deal structures. And in your post, it says, I have an out-of-state investor who is ready to join me in acquiring cash-flowing duplexes. No rehab or improvements required. So I'd assume that these are either brand new or turnkey. Uh, what are some different ways I could structure our investment partnership, assuming we are 50-50 on the first few? I'll throw out some initial ideas, but I'm happy to hear all the different ideas and pros and cons feedback. Thanks. Uh, Kevin goes on to say, A, investor puts 50% equity into the deal, and I finance the other 50% with private or hard money. I'll refi in 6 to 12 months. He receives all positive cash flow until I refi, and then we can restructure. And I think that that is actually a great, uh, a great option. Investor puts down half, uh, puts 50% equity into the deal, then I finance the other 50%, so it allows Kevin to have none of his own money in it. Um, and then they split the cash flow, uh, and then he refinances them out in six to 12 months. He receives all positive cash flow until the refinance, and then we can then restructure. So you're leaving that open on that option A there for restructuring. Um, if they're only going to be receiving positive cash flow, that might not be enough for them, but I do like that option if you can get them to agree, Kevin. Awesome stuff. B, investor puts, uh, puts up down payment and the closing costs. Then I get a private or a hard money loan at 90% of the purchase price. And it may be a little less than that. Maybe it's 70 or 80%, but 90% is not doable. Uh, and then refinance in six to 12 months, we split positive cash flow. Also, great, great option, Kevin. I love that. Um, that's great. Option C, investor buys property outright for cash and then finances 50% equity to me. We split positive cash flow and the investor receives monthly note payments from me. That's a great option. I think that's going to be a little bit fewer and farther in between, uh, but that is definitely a great option as well. In all cases, I am the local property manager. Kevin, that is awesome, man. Uh, what I would suggest, all three of these are great. Uh, but for the most part, it's really difficult to basically have options without at least talking to the said or potential, you know, private lender or investor. What I would probably do is I would just have a conversation with this person and figure out what makes the most sense for them. These are great places to start. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but without knowing what they want, these may be irrelevant or just not, you know, not something that they're interested in. So just start by opening up that conversation and asking them, hey, what makes sense for you? Here's some options if they don't have any idea. Ideally, you're gonna want to pay them an interest rate versus giving them a piece of the deal. If you have to give them a piece of the deal, maybe half or even a smaller percentage, 20 or 30%, that's gonna be better because if you buy a property at a discounted you know, price, let's say you buy a property for 200, that's really worth you know, 250 or even 300. And then you go to refinance it, well, and then you take them out of the deal, well, they may be a little upset that they're not getting some of that equity, right? So from my personal uh, perspective and history and uh, just doing this over the years, it tends to work out better for us, you, me, the, the person that's you know, managing the property and sourcing the deals to just pay out a percent. If they do want you know, some of the equity, or let's assume that you go to sell it, uh, that's fine too, but try to limit that. But all in all, this is awesome. I love that you're asking this inside the community. Uh, for those of you that are not here, this is inside of Real Estate School. Check it out, it's amazing. Um, but I think these are definitely great places to start. Let us know, please make some more posts in the community as things progress and as you start working with said investor or you know, other investors. And let us know how this works. I love partnering uh, with other investors. In fact, I don't think I own a single rental right now. I think I sold the last couple I had uh, that I owned on my own. Every rental I have over 120 units has a partner on it. So partnering is definitely the way to go. It makes, it makes for an easy way to get in involved and invested in, and to get financing and to get creative you know, by bringing in a partner. So great question. We're gonna post this video inside the community. If you're not in the community and you want to ask questions like this, join Real Estate School. It's a great place. But Kevin, thanks for being here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video here. 
And uh, I love where your head's at, man. Keep it going uh, and keep us posted. Thanks, buddy.